What's going on guys? Tayman3 here. Um gonna give you a brief overview of the classic weapons that will be in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare as you prestige. So I'm I replaced my mic my mic. Shut up! Shut up, dog. Be quiet. My puppy won't fucking shut up. Cause there's tractors outside cutting the fucking crops and he won't be quiet. But um um, it's gonna show the classic weapons that every time, whenever the game, the real game comes out, every time you prestige, you can use like you earn a weapon that has been in previous CODs, or like shall I say, it's like pretty good weapons that's in pre previous CODs that you can tell as you show, as I will show you right now. But you go over to classic on assault on primary weapons, and you see the OSA. Uh, that is the RX30. That is the gun from Infinite. I mean, advanced warfare that gun is in there I like that gun but this one it is a fully automatic ballistic rifle with rapid power fire rate and an integrated uh, grenade launcher so it is automatic the um, advanced warfare version was a uh, three round burst so hopefully this gun will be better than the one in advanced warfare you got the MACT 45, holy shit, the fucking UMP 45 from MW2 and MW3, but the MW2 was a lot better one. But this one, I'm pretty sure that this one's going to be probably just like the other ones. Um, it says, full auto ballistic firearm popular with old earth agencies for delivering high stopping power at rate despite that low fire rate. So it is an amazing gun. It's like, it's an all overall amazing gun. It's, it's pretty good, gives pretty good range and firepower from its size. You got TF-141, holy fuck, it's the fucking intervention from MW2, fuck yes, I love that gun, it's bolt action, it's ballistic rifle, renowned for superior stability handling and for unforgiving recoil, awesome gun, amazing, 10 out of 10. Um, you got the S Savage, that is the, I meant Ravage, I'm so fucking sorry, pump action ballistic shotgun, an esteemed and rugged Firearm that trades a slow rechamber rate for incredible range and stopping power. So this is like looks like the spaz, but it's just a different form and shape. But it has awesome damage and it has pretty good stats. So I feel like it's gonna be a good weapon. Um, you got the M1 Grande. Now this is from like I believe it's on the like War at War Zombies, the first map that it came out with like when you're like the original default zombies map on that game. Um, or COD, was it COD 4 after you beat the campaign, that map? Kino, Kino, no, um, Knock, yeah, Nocter and Toten, that's the name of it. Um, that map, I believe you get that gun, it's a, um, semi-automatic ballistic rifle where you can, like, shoot multiple times on the chamber in the, uh, magazine. An old, reliable surface web rifle with moderate stopping power and low recoil. The top loading clip must be exhausted to reload. So I think you have to like finish out the fucking clip, and you cannot get this into full game. So unfortunately, we cannot play these any of these weapons in the beta. But it's pretty cool fucking seeing them and being able to show what it looks like before we jump into the game on November the fourth. But if you did, guys, did enjoy this video. I'm very motivated in my videos today. I don't know. I'm in such in a good mood because this game is awesome. And I was just been dying to play this, and I went through hell and back to play this motherfucker. But y'all drop a like. Let's get 15 likes on these Infinite Warfare videos. Check out my other Infinite Warfare videos, and um, comment down below your favorite weapon that I just gave out of all that list of five: the OSA, the MacTag, the TF-141, the S Ravage, and the M1. So that's the M1 Grande. You got the Spaz. You got the Intervention. You got the UMP, and you got the ARX. So, um, that does it for this video. I guess I'll see you in the next